Oh, that's cold. Cold coffee. Hey everybody, it's Aaron here, the Handy Outdoor Nerd. All right, so we're going to start off the new year by doing a video in Fusion 360. So I have got this printer unit behind me that I'm working on has broken gears. So it's been saying that it's had a paper jam. Well, there's no paper jam in it. I actually got it off Craigslist for free. All I had to do was go and pick it up, which is perfect. Uh, originally got it planning to just take it apart for parts but you know I figured why not see if I can fix it and see what happens so I've got two gears like this this one and then this one is in three pieces they're both the exact same I just need to do one model of it in fusion and then print it and then I've got a third gear which we'll do in another video sets inside of another gear without further ado let's jump into Fusion 360 and get this started all right so we have opened up a new window here in Fusion 360 so what we're going to do first is tell it to save so control s and I'm just going to name it gears Uh, let's give it a number one. Let's go ahead and save it. All right, so what you're gonna do next is go up to sketch, create sketch, go to the bottom plane, I'm gonna hit C for circle, and then click, and then take it to 47 millimeters. We're gonna zoom on in. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is circle again. We want it to be eight millimeters. And then we go to sketch, slot, center point slot. And we want to select it there. We want it to take it about 7.5 this way. And then we want it about three this way. And if we've done that correct, the distance from here to here, hit line, should be 18. Cool. So that's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and click here, shift, select these two points. So we don't want it throughout the entire thing. Shift middle mouse button to rotate. Then we're going to extrude this out. We want it to be 11.5 millimeters. All right, so we're gonna hit C for circle again. We're gonna hit here on top of the circle. Excuse me. I'm gonna go here, we're gonna tell it to go eight. And we're gonna do that again. And we want it to be 11. What we're gonna do is select that and extrude that out, point, point 0.6, get a little more distance. All right, we're gonna go to the other side now, and select the bottom. We're gonna go and we want to be able to extrude. So let's go ahead and find our sketch. We want to take that. We already know the distance, so we're going to extrude that up. It's going to be about four, 4.5. Just give it a check here. <coughs> yep, four millimeters. There we go. That'll instantly cut all the other parts off. Now we're gonna hit C for circle again. Here, we're gonna go select here, and we're gonna take it to 11. Now we're gonna select here, shift, select here. Then we're going to extrude this out two millimeters. And let's see, that's 
that's going towards the top we want negative <clears throat> otherwise that would have cut into it there we go so that is that part there so we're going to select either part does not matter top or bottom let's go ahead and select the top I'm going to rotate it all the way over for myself. We're going to tell it to uh, get a new sketch. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll select the circle there. We're going to go line. We want here and we want it to go down. I believe it is two millimeters. Now I'm also going to do another line. Take it up 0.5. Excuse me. All right, now that that is done, take it here. Go over. I want it to be 0.5 that way. And another one. 0.5 this way. And then another line. It should be be a total of 2.5 inch millimeters so what we're going to do is get the, nope we don't want that part we want up here so we want it to be 1.25 and same thing for the other side 1.25 right, we're going to tell it to line oh, down to there and then we're going to do the same here. And then that completes that. So we're going to hit T for trim. And trim up these lines there we do not need. We're going to hide the body. Just like that. Make sure we get it all done. Now we're going to tell it to extrude. Shift middle mouse button. To rotate all the way around. We tell it distance, we want two object, we want to select the back side of it. Then I'm going to go over here and select there. Click OK. That finishes up that part there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and create, we want a pattern, circular pattern. Go ahead and click here. Shift and continue clicking through those two parts. Tell it top. And then our axes we want, we want to select the plane right here, the little curve. Now what we're gonna want is our gear has 45 teeth, but it also has 45 in part center parts where it dips down. So we want to type in 45. Tell it okay. And there we go, there's our gear. So now that that's done, just give it a look over. Make sure how, it's how you want it to be. For just a little extra strength, what I'm gonna end up doing here is I'm gonna do a fill. Come on there, nope, not what I wanted to do. not wanting to do what I want it. Uh, let's do this first. Let's tell it it's my problem. Select everything, tell it to modify, and we're gonna combine everything. Shift rotate down, make sure everything's selected. There we go. That should be fine there. I'm click OK. And we're going to do the same for over here. Fill it. And then we're going to just go two. 
That way it gives it a slope from it to make it stronger instead of just going straight up, which gives it a weak point. So once that's all set, uh, I might as well do the same thing down here because this doesn't do anything else. one there and that is set so all right let's go ahead and export it and then we can toss it on the printer sorry right, to export what we're going to do is tell it to make and click that to uncheck it because we do not want to send it to cura tell it okay <clears throat> Here, there we go. Tell it OK. I'll go ahead and go open up here in 3D. Gear. And then here's this. Go ahead and zoom on in. Give your gear a look at. Now we got to rotate this. Let's go up here. So we are using Idea Maker. Give it a rotate. Take the other way. There we go. 90 degrees. You can also use these little lines to rotate if you like. This just makes it a little faster. So we're going to hit scale. Just want to see our size. So it's just about 47 millimeters. And the height is just a little over 14 millimeters tall. And then, which is his depth, but that's the height we want. And then it is almost the same, so, so round. So that's exactly what we want there. So <clears throat> we're going to go to move, place on platform, make sure it's centered. Now what we're going to need to do, since we have that little bitty bit right there, so it's not on the platform, we're going to tell it to create some supports. Let's just go ahead and create supports. And what it's going to do is just go ahead and fill in every little bit that it can. All around, even on the gears. So it's going to have all those supports set up there for you. So, and then if you want to make sure that you're good to go, so all the supports stay, so what you do is you, excuse me, I'll go ahead and tell it to slice. <clears throat> no, let's uh, skip that. Let's go here, let's go to edit. And instead of skirt, you can do a raft or a brim. Um, either one's gonna use a little bit more. This one will select Brim, um, supports, we don't need to mess with that because we already added them. So it's going to ask us anyway because we toss in supports. Do we want them? Yes. So it gives you a time, how much filament you're going to use. Go ahead and go in preview. <coughs> One second. <coughs> That's a little better. All right, so once we get in there, you get to see how many layers you have. You've got 139 layers. Let's go ahead and go over here. Extruder color, let's go to structure. And it gives you a list of infill supports and everything. So you can go ahead and drag and layers down to the very bottom and then just click and you'll see it build up. And so once you get up all the way done, Good to go so you don't have to play through that way you can just drag it all the way if you want and just see exactly what stuff so let's go ahead and click exit on that and then we'll tell it to export and toss it on the printer
right, everybody, that is the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching me make a year in Fusion 360 and learn something along the way. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to ring that bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have any questions about this video or any upcoming videos, go ahead and leave a message down in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, until then, everybody, happy printing and take care.